Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a short video on these, this mirror copy module that I've made. Very, very simple and something you can use on the fly without even thinking about it. I'm going to walk through how to do that real quick, how, to, how we create this, um, these multiple copies uh, of, of objects. So we're going to start by doing a new, a new uh, document and we're just going to be using circles and just so that it's easy to see which direction things are pointing. I'm going to set the face numbering to three and you'll see that gives us a triangle. We're going to set this first one to red because it's going to be to the color red because it's going to be our reference uh, reference triangle. So it'll be easy to see or easy to distinguish. And we're going to move it off um, to the side and up. So we're going to move it 10, 10, 10. So it's going to be out of the way as we work. Um, so, but before I do that, I want to just show you real quick. Let's hide the translate and what the mirror does by itself. Okay. So by itself, you'll see it just is going to copy all the, ch the all the child objects which is the color and circle, and it's basically gonna create a mirror copy. So you see it just, now it's facing the other way. And you also notice that it's around the center of the object, um, or whatever the origin is. So if it was a cube, it'd be the corner, unless you have center equals true. So, okay, so now let's add back the translate in. First, let's do this, move that there. Um, we'll just mirror nothing. And now let's move our mirror back in. So that's our object is over there. So now you'll see when we mirror it, um, I think it defaults to the x to the to the x axis. So we're going to let it do that. So you just see you'll see it's created a mirror and it mirrored everything the uh, the translate, the color, and the circle. So all three children here. So now let's just define the x axis specifically. Um, to you'll see nothing's changed. Let's do it in Y direction so you can see the difference. So now it's mirrored 10 units in the Y direction. So let's put that back. Okay, so that's the mirror. And let's do this so we can, so we know what we are mirroring in this case. So this is one way to achieve a mirror copy is just to make two objects. Uh, simple, but um, I find that this is a little can be harder to understand as you're getting more and more complicated in an object with objects. So I think mirror copy is a is a way to um, abstract some confusion, but that could just be me. Okay, so that's our that's our sample. So now let's do another copy. Let's copy this down, and we're going to do um, another circle. This one we'll just leave yellow, and we'll leave it. down there. Okay, so to copy this, we're going to create the module and it's going to be mirror copy. Okay, and all it will, all it's going to do is repeat the chart that repeat the uh, one of the children or repeat all the children, all the children. That's an important distinct distinction. And then it's going to mirror the children. And so remember what the mirror did was it creates a mirror cop mirror of it of the object but doesn't leave a copy. So in this case that leaves our copy. This creates our mirror. So if I've done this right, I should get another one here. Nope, I did something wrong. Oops, something that simple. Yep. Nope, something else. Okay, yeah, it helps to actually invoke the module. So we're gonna we're gonna call the module here. Uh, and I think it's called a, um, I forget, OpenSCAD has a name for when you do it without the brackets. An operation, yeah, so we're gonna invoke it as an operation. So now you see you've gotten you've gotten your copy um, and that's the basic functionality. So it's nothing special here, but uh, I just, this looks a whole lot better than all this mess. Um, now here's, now we'll show some of the, some of the beauty of this. So say I want a, a, another mirror copy. Now this one, this operation will take effect on all, all three of these children. Now when I run render this, nothing's gonna happen. 
uh, except the fact that you have two copies here. Um, each one of these, there's one underneath it. And the way you'll be able to see that, what we'll do is instead of uh, mirroring this in the x direction, let's add a vector to mirror in the y direction. So now for this to work, we need to actually add an argument. So it's gonna, we're gonna call it the mirror vector. And we'll add the mirror vector to here. So now it's uh, it's gonna do the mirror copy in the y direction, but even if I render this, nothing's gonna happen because there's no uh, there's no movement. This child uh, is going to stay exactly where it is, and it's just going to create another mirror. So what we're going to do is we're going to translate this, this by 10 in the y direction. Uh, so now it has it's offsetting the the origin to mirror. So now you have your mirror copy. So we can do this ad infinitum. Um, so if I translate these children. Let's translate them in in, in the y direction. By, uh, by 20 so you'll see there translate it now let's mirror copy them let's do it in the X direction by 20 and now if I mirror copy them in the X direction well we should have 8 unless I've done something silly again yeah so now we have 8 um, now so you'll notice it's a copy. It's it's a mirror of the entire or a mirror of the entire child. So that's so it's mirroring this object. So that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to create an array. You're mirroring the entire group of children. Um, it's not like um, so that that's something to keep in mind. You know on how the orientation will go. So I hope you like that. I hope I was clear. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I'm, I'm doing free CAD, open SCAD, and uh, some other things. Uh, I hope to do some Arduino eventually. And, you know, so please subscribe and click on the alarm bell to get notifications. And make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like it, because that helps my viewership. Thanks again. And, and to all those people who have subscribed so far, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Every time I see that subscribership go up, it makes me happy. Uh, have a great day.